thinking of taking a push. <laughs> now I have some tips for you. Are you looking for that competitive edge for college? <laughs> Are you love history? Well, a push is for you. Do you have a strong work ethic? Do you have the time to commit to APUSH? Then this class is right for you. 99? 100. Oh, hey there. Don't care about APs? Don't care about hard work? Then get out and take RUSH. RUSH. Regular U.S. History. So you've signed up. Don't be intimidated. Jump right in. So it's summer. <laughs> you've signed up for the class. Now you need to start by getting prepared, read the assigned material, get all your books ready, and mentally prepare yourself for a year of hell. So once class has started, there's no downtime. You start right away. Just jump right in! A push. You really need to learn to condense your social life. Yeah, sure, you can go to the Friday games at East Lake, like the football or the basketball games, but be prepared to get at least two points docked off your quiz. I mean, you should really spend your whole weekend studying. Yep. One of the most important parts of this class is having a group of friends you can study with. This is my study group. We meet together at the library on the weekends and work on our homework. It's really important to have those people you can go to to work on projects together and to ask questions. And they're also very helpful for reviewing for the tests and quizzes. For quizzes, practice online, try different study techniques, and go to Ms. Horner's lectures before school. A few different study techniques are reading the book and using the section headings to title all of your note sections, which can be very helpful to some students. Others found it helpful to read the whole chapter and then go back and study wiki notes. And finally, oh, a couple other people would use note cards, such as the AP Central or Kaplan's note cards to study. Now for essays, be prepared to not go very good to school on the first one. But it's okay if you have your teacher read them before, you start early and look at the examples on AP Central. Projects. Start them early. Pick a good group. Don't procrastinate. If you guys all put in the same amount of effort, it will turn out really good. And most importantly, make it entertaining. No one wants to sit there and watch you read from the textbook. Make it funny. Make it interactive. Make the projects worth doing so there's something that you can be proud of to talk about to your friends. How to interpret the books. A very important and key section of the APUSH class. In this class, you'll read many different books that are, although they're very confusing, you need to know how to read them correctly. Books such as The Scarlet Letter and Beloved are written in such a term that most people have a hard time understanding them by just plain out reading it. Some ways that are really helpful is taking notes while you're reading to understand the main concepts of what are going on. Also, don't use Spark Notes as your main source of information. Read the book first, take notes, and then you can review the Spark Notes to see, make sure you understand the key ideas. The SparkNotes tests on the website are made to help you do better, but if you just use them by themselves, you're not going to learn the concepts, and then you won't be able to talk in discussions, which are also a key component of this class. In discussions, you'll go over the books that you're reading and the material, so to make sure you understand exactly what's going on, keep, take your notes from what you've written about the book, use those as key points, and when the awkward silence comes during discussion, which they always do, don't let that ruin them. Be that person to get up and talk. And also, if someone interrupts you while you're talking, go up and push them out of their chair. They are dumb. Now it's time to study for the AP test. The first thing you need to do is buy an AP practice study guide, book, which, such as Kaplan's or another one. Actually use these books, read them, starting from the most recent chapters you've learned, and then work your way back to the beginning of the book. Because then you will, the stuff you haven't learned for months, you it will keep fresh in your mind. Also, you are prepared for this test. If you worked hard all year long, You've spent nine months studying for this test. You should be prepared. Also, keep in mind that um, you need to start studying a month early. A month will give you just enough time and just enough days to get everything you've learned in sync. With this. On the day of your AP test, you need to be prepared by bringing pencils, erasers, and pens. Make sure you have an extra pen just in case your pen runs out of ink. You can also bring water and a snack. Make sure you leave your cell phone at home or in the car though, because if your cell phone was to go off during the test, then your test and other people's are invalidated. Now for the alumni interviews. For quizzes, I read the chapter and then looked at wiki notes. So, your thesis is going to be longer than you think. It has to be. Don't care. It doesn't have to look good or be pretty at all. Um, and just put a bunch of facts in Alright, so. This class will kill you. <laughs> um, 
Read the book or else read wiki notes is probably the main thing that you should do. You should switch off every week doing key terms with someone else. You do it one week, they do it the next week. Key terms get distributed around a lot. Um, I was gonna say find friends. Fr friends will do it. I usually I just did it with one person. I find that found that worked the best because then you still learn the information because you're gonna need to know the information. You can't just bullshit that. <laughs> it's a difficult class. It's said to be the second hardest class in this school, just next to AP Bio. So if you're taking that, then it's also hard and it sucks for you, and you can only take one of the two. Um, but, I mean, as difficult as it is, it's also a very entertaining class. It's, the, it's great to get to know other people, classmates. The information is also interesting. I mean, if you like history. Mm -hmm. um, after the AP test, you kind of can just not even pay attention anymore. You can pretty much just zone out. I mean, there's some stuff you do afterwards, but it's it gets easier after the AP test. It's yeah. worth it. So. Absolutely. All right. Uh, got to A push. Make sure you use the internet to your advantage. Uh, so a lot of what, there's a lot of what we do is on the internet, um, but. Being a good student, only use that for uh, background information purposes or checking, you know, what you read online, you know, just to double check information. But you know, use the internet a lot. Okay. It helps. And then you sleep. Don't need to sleep. Stay up doing the key terms. I'm telling you, you'll learn everything at three o'clock in the morning. For all the key terms, go to coursenotes.com. <laughs> it's dot net actually. Dot net. Print them out. <laughs> What I'd like to talk more is about A push. Actually, do the key terms because they help a lot more than you think. I would start studying the AP test about a month in advance. I know I didn't study until about two weeks before, and I did not study in my year. Uh, no, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Okay. I think the worst part of the essay is because I hate typed essays and I'm really bad at them. And I go with Okay, so I took a push this year, and I would say what I learned over the course of the year is that you can go through and you can just read wiki notes and um, key notes or whatever that is. But it really helps if you actually read the chapter and don't forget to read the yellow pages because you need to know those for the courses. I took other AP classes. I didn't take a push because that class would be really hard, um, and I was just not mentally and physically uh, prepared for the workload in a push. And uh, in my normal core class right now, I have about zero homework, and I'm loving it. So I basically just don't do anything, and it's amazing. Uh, so you guys that all take a push or retards? <gasps> don't procrastinate. If you take a push, don't procrastinate. I hear all my friends talking about how they're up till three in the morning. <laughs> I'm, I'm, awful. I'm in bed by eight thirty. So I'm Oop, a right now. push is a hard class. There's a lot of temptations and distractions going on in your junior year. But if you focus, you concentrate, and you don't procrastinate your work, you'll do fine in the class. But be prepared to fail. The first couple weeks and months will be difficult. But if you stay on top of your work and give it your all, your teachers will understand that you're trying and giving your 100%. So, sophomores and juniors and uh, freshmen, good luck. A push will be hard, but you can do it.